When we had last left Team Bald, they made a cool wish to an even cooler genie multiple times in a row. Sometimes they got money, other times they fought giant robot golems. This time, however, they were given a cool quest to help out a naked guy who wanted a gong, but it was missing, and many times over it was missing, there was a troll that they sought out who supposedly had it, but didn't. Now it was time to track down the gong and perhaps return it, and then finally go fight Bodhi. This is Baldur's Gate 2, Enhanced Edition. Welcome back. Let's unhide all of that, and as I had said, I went and looked it up, and actually, uh, it's right over here, at the Ogre's Tower. All Who would have right thought? Then. One of the Ogres here has it. And the issue was, is, uh, I killed the troll too fast. There was supposed to be a little scripted moment wherein we were told to, we would be told to come over here, but, uh, the killing was too swift. Well, <gasps> this is not an Ogre. This is a cow. What the hell? Well, uh... <laughs> yes. What the fuck? I thought it said to come over here! <laughs> Wait, what? <laughs> What's going on? It's long past time for turnip tea. A little rest will shake the stew from our eyes and ache from our legs. What the fuck? Is it the cottage we need to go into? I I could have sworn it said to go into the ogre tower. Very well. No fucking way. Just as I would have thought. What? Is it this cow I have to defeat? This will be simple. I will kill this innocent cow. Nature, take the life she gave! God, and it was Shahira too. How fucking twisted is that? Okay. <laughs> what the fuck? What no the fuck is going ago. on? I thought <laughs> I thought this was it! Do I need to look it up again? No way. Okay, hang on. I'm, <laughs> I'm gonna do it again. I'm doing it right now. <sighs> Jesus Christ. Did I misread it? Let's see. Okay. Let's see. Yada yada. Okay, once there, Troll Shaman, just outside- oh fuck, I'm getting five million ads. Okay. Gray the Troll Shaman, just outside the mound, will attack. If you kill it before the fight stops the conversation, the Ogre Magi does not appear. The Gong is in possession of Drush, an Ogre Mage, in a tower to the northeast of here. Wander north, then east, across the bridge to find a big house. Just south of it is the tower. This ogre mage inside is quite the peaceable sort. There is no peaceable ogre mage inside, though. Did I already kill them? Remember, we were out here before, wondering about, like, an old witch in this cottage or whatever? Did I come in here and kill... An ogre? That I was not supposed to? Did they die already? All right, then. God, I think I maybe already killed them. <laughs> I think I literally already killed them. I'm not sure, but I'm almost positive that I killed them. Huh. Yes? Yes. Yeah, that's it. 
they should be in there. Even with me having killed the troll. Though that probably isn't doing us any favors, let's be real. I think I legit already killed them. Very well. Right, when we were up here looking for someone who was, like, cloaked. Right, a mysterious person who, who was doning the disguise of someone who is otherwise friendly. If I killed Drush the Ogre, that was who I was meant to talk to. And they had the gong. Just as I would have thought. Dude, I think I killed them. <laughs> I think I literally killed the person who I was supposed to talk to. Okay, well. <laughs> that, I guess I guess we're back to the main quest. I guess I guess we just can't ever do this one. We can't ever do this one. You know what? Folks had written in ahead of time considering or contemplating, pondering over whether or not I would even be able to do this quest because they thought that I had killed um, the group inside of the inn. Remember who the old naked man is like confronted by and talks with? Dennis, I think it is. Dennis's group. But I didn't kill them. As it turns out, I'm pretty sure I killed Drush the Ogre. And thus, that is where our adventure ends. <laughs> okay, well. Yeah, the debt with Vittoria. Okay. Yeah, so sorry. <laughs> Alright, guess we're going back to Athkatla, huh? Let's, let's haul ass on back out of here. There we go. Let's go to the temple. Right? This will be Whoa, I'm full of shit. Let's go to... The graveyard. There we go. The city changes Whoa. Always the same. One that I am finding difficult Even when I led soldiers in the order. Everybody is fucking talking. All right, Bodhi says, You are becoming an impressive pest. One that I am finding difficult to ignore. Honestly, Lila Schnub, I simply do not know what to do with you. I grow tired of seeing you in my shadow. I'm not... I'm not the one that fled our last encounter, Bodhi. Sorry if I scared you. You are all shadow, Bodhi. And I am the light that will mark the new day. And I grow tired of you. I will have your head on a pike before we are through here. I'm not the one that fled our last encounter, Bodhi. Sorry if I scared you. Hardly. It was simply more important that I report of your condition to Irenicus. He has decided that it is of no importance. Interesting, though it is. Regardless, I have not the time to stand here discussing what you will or will not do. I have more important duties to take care of. A simple warning. One that you would do well to heed. Follow Arenicus no more, Lila Schnub, or your end will be dire indeed. I will speak no more to you. Fight, and if you survive, be thankful and go home. Oh no, the final battle with Bodhi. Where is she? No time Bodhi has revealed herself to me, letting me know that she is aware of my pursuit, and in an attempt to dissuade me from entering her lair, unleashed yet more of her undead creations. Uh, we're fighting undead creations. Okay. Oh, that was a journal update? No. Oh, here we go. She swears I will lose much more than my life if I continue to pursue her. Although, in truth, I've little choice. Allies recruited for a struggle against Bodhi. Okay. Sure, and we should have folks appear. Oh, so it's just... It's just vampires appearing. You are a worthless and here! We be welcome, lest we endanger ourselves. Okay, fuck them up. Line them up, fuck them up. Great. Okay. And then... Let's see. We should go into the pyramid, right? I think it is. We still haven't met our reinforcements out here, although they pledge to arrive. No, not where they are. Okay. Oh no, it is not this one. 
This passage has been deliberately collapsed. It appears as if someone doesn't want you to come down here. Oh. All right, then. Well, shit. Which, which route is it, then? This one? No. Hmm. Yes. Okay, well, how about... This right here. Maybe it's up this way. Okay. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it'll be one of those on the upper tier. Yeah. Very well. What okay. Did you ask? Let's head on up. Maybe this is where our friends will appear. There we are. Good. Let's try this shut door. Perfect. Ooh, look, it's dark too. Just as I would have thought. Oh. Eric von Straten. Oh, everyone's pouring in here, I see. The paladins of the Order of the Radiant Heart are here to fight at your side, Lila Schnub. Glorious shall our victory be if this great evil can be brought to an end. Great. Do I need to talk to you all? This will be simple. May the gods look upon you kindly. The Paladins of the Order of the Radiant Heart are here to fight at your side, Lila Schnub. Glorious shall be our victory if this great evil can be brought to an end. Okay, thanks again. Symbol Death. Yeah, we got it. I probably should have read what it was about. No time at all. Oh shit, that is locked up. Okay. Yes, yes. A standard tactic, that. All right, then. Finger of I'm death. I'm getting sleepy. Wish we could stop for a bit. All right, Emily. It's time for you to learn the finger of death. We're familiar with that one, though. Hmm. So are they I following? I require rest. I they demand are. we stop. Oh, it's Valen. Oh, Who? I'll show you a fight. Fledgling vampires appearing from everywhere. And Dell. Well, this is simple enough. Should we go under their weird little hole? Oh shit, more of them back this way. Except out the paladins. Are they coming over here? Into this room? For me to stab? No. Okay. We mustn't forget the holy water. That said, I don't really know how I'm to use it. You're too far away to do that. Yes. The vampire retreated to this coffin once you defeated it. If you have a wooden stake, you can try to kill it. I'm doing that. You pound the stake through the vampire's foul heart, the creature shall prey no more in the blood of others. Yeah, same as before. I'm pounding! I will pound them all! Good. Damn, Animan got another level. Let's do it. Level 5 and 6 spells. 2 HP, 1 lore. And a sweet ability. What should we get? Globe of Blades. I kind of want that. I don't know. Maybe in... Summoning an angel could be kind of cool. Right? That could be kind of fun. Let's let's get that. Summon Deva. Feels thematically correct. Now, is that one we also need to socket? It's like a spell. Yeah. Okay. Let's see. Whoops. Priest... Spells, level 7. There we go. Yeah, what should I get? Hmm. Yeah, we'll keep it as is. Fuck it. And here, what should we do? How about... Another heal, why not? 
Another mask here. Useful. Alright, that'll do. Very well. Let's head on up through here. Quick save in case there's new booby traps or whatever. Oh, it's Celia and Fledgling Vampire. Look, look at them all named. I almost thought that this person's name was Meredith. <laughs> Nature, you'll take the life she okay. gave! Look, this a fledgling vampire boring. has fled. I'll give it that. Okay. Cool. What have we got here? Protection from petrification. Teach that to Edwin. Good, and I'll pocket the gem. Okay. Are there more back here that I need to poke? Oh, there's another vampire that has manifested somehow. Great. The vampire is truly dead. And the coffin reeks of carrion. There's nothing else you can do with it. Guessing there's none spawned in there. Because there's no icon. This will okay. be simple. Can we interact with this blood basin again? Yes. This unholy pool is filled with fresh human blood. You are nearly overcome with horror at the thought of the vampire's savagery. Can I do something with it? Oh shit, we just pulled a bunch more. Okay. Let's, uh, well, no, we better not launch some shit in there, because we have a friendly. That not will probably incur damage from that. Okay. Not even a dent? No time at Great. all. Great. We have a longsword. Oh, all right. Somewhere. All right then. Take that extra steak. Thank goodness all the vampires are carrying around the few one of the few items that we need to kill them. <laughs> right? What the hell? Huh? Harryation? Oh. Arcanus. The assassins are here to support your battle, Lila Schnub. As the Shadow Master has commanded, we will do what we can. Well, thank goodness. Good. Let's fire off some more chain lightning. If anything, it's a bit uh, slowing us down having all these allies here, right? Because <laughs> I can't just, like, blast fireballs. It is done. Okay. There we go. Cool. The worst part about fighting vampires is we're not getting XP. Going back down that route. Okay. There's another doorway down here. Let's look for more places where vamps may be chilling. Your blood Guard. is rather inviting. The, the audacity is impressive, Lila Schnab. It does the little good, for my mistress has ordained a baptism of blood and pain for thee. Blee! What? <laughs> He's a vampire. There we go. Well, yes. let's not go directly into this fucked up room. Your worthless lives! Good. Okay. So is this still a fucked up room? Very well. Is there nothing in here? I'll quick save ahead. Is she in here? There's like a fuckload of vampire mist. Good God, man. Okay. Just as Hold I the line! Thought, you can do nothing but die! What is it now? Okay, and then... Let's throw out a... Well, we should probably do a restoration here. 
Right. Let's toss out a heal at least from anime. Great. And let's see, can I get my stats restored? Definitely have some kind of drain. Perfect. Thank you. Get on with it. This will okay. be simple. Quick saved again. Some gauntlets. More steak. Ah. Ah. Fuck. I an require a. healing now. What is it that even causes this? Phew. Okay. <laughs> a little fucking close there with that, but it's not too dangerous. Okay, get that full good-ass heal. And let's get these gloves ID'd. Are they actually really good? Ooh. They need a proper identifier. I'd the world if I could, but you'll have to package it smaller. I'm out of room. Okay, uh, we've got standard bolts on Jan. Can ditch that. No problem. Legacy of the Masters. Oh, yeah, these are good. I remember these. Weren't these in the first game, or do I already have some? Legacy of the Masters. Gauntlets of Weapon Expertise. Legacy of the Masters. Highly sought after among novice warriors. These items were once the property of the royal family of Threskel, imparting a portion of the prince's legendary skill. These gauntlets ran the bearer mastery, grant the bearer mastery over all forms of weapons. The majority of their many previous owners seem to have come to bloody ends, though. The gloves grant the ability of experience, but not the wisdom. One Thacko, two damage. Yep, pretty good. Yeah, so an improvement over mine. However, they're probably better used on a fast fire rate character, huh? Oh, that said, I am a fast fire rate character, right? All things considered, uh, I am pretty fucking fast. So you know what? I will take them. Okay, good. And who wants the old ones? Could be Jahira. Yeah, I think we'll we'll hand him over to Jahira. There you go. Great. All right then. Okay. Let's do another quick save here. Anything else in this room that we should be wary of? The day was not this long, even when I led soldiers in the order. Oh, this goes out the main entry exit. Okay. Should we heal up? Should we rest? Feel as though we maybe should, but I don't think we need to. Let's just keep pushing. What would you oh, look, it healed up our allies, too. Oh, shit! Oh! Oh, I could no! do that. No! Okay. Whew. I resisted the, uh... The sleep effect. Don't okay. you got it. Let's have Yon move here. Come on, Shadow Thieves, do your stuff. No? Okay. That's fine. This doorway? Anything bad going on with it? Doesn't seem like it. Okay, let's all proceed. Oh no, not the blood room again. Filled with bats and Bodhi. And so it shall end here. Welcome. You have been very resourceful in finding me, although I did not go out of my way to hide. <laughs> okay. <laughs> sure, why well that's not my problem. Why didn't you why didn't you hide? You should have made more of an effort. We have an obligation to destroy you as if we needed more reasons. I've grown tired of chasing you across the realms, Bodhi. Your death will be ease the suffering of many. I've come for what you stole from me. Ooh. I will not leave here empty. 
I will have my soul. Oh shit, somewhat evil Imowen. You may try, Imowen, but you will fail. We have worked long to realize our revenge, and it will not be stopped by you. I'm sure your reasons for coming are all very important to you. Do you spare me the boredom of hearing them? Do spare me the boredom of hearing them. I've come for the Rin Lantern... Rin Lantern, Bodhi. You will not escape me this time. I will avenge what you have done to me and Imwen. You will pay for your crimes. As if your crimes against me weren't enough, you've endangered an entire elven city. There's no escape for you now, vampire. I'll have your black heart on a pike. As if your crimes against me weren't enough, you've endangered an entire elven city. You help those treacherous elves? They deserve all they receive and more. They will not even approach us while we destroy them. Such is their arrogance. Let them shiver in fear that they will die between me and Irenicus. They would not even acknowledge us as their own, and now we will bury them all. Why should they acknowledge your, your filth? I do not blame them in the least. What do you mean it's their own? Elves rarely allow outsiders of any kind in their cities. Elhan did not even know of you. How could he acknowledge you as his own? Hmm, I want to hear more. What do you mean it's their own? Fool, they would have you think that we are some foreign intruders attacking their city for no reason. Their shame is that Irenicus and I are very familiar indeed. No elf would dare turn against the others. No elf would endanger the very fabric of their society. No elf would do as Irenicus and I have done. Who was it that pled their case? Elhan? He stood by while they echoed our crimes in their punishments. I should have almost let you live so that he could have the shame of an outsider questioning him about this whole matter. Almost. Your part in this ends here, Lila Schnub. I shall feast on the blood of the gods while you enter death with questions unanswered. Uh-oh. A grim warder. Okay. Yes. What is a grim warder? Do not know. I'm going straight for Bodhi. I shall go for the Animan lineup a smite, I think. There we go. And let's see. We could bless up if we want, but do we even need to really? I don't know that we do. I think we just go after the Grim Warder. Looks to be some kind of weird invisible freak. Oh dear, a lot of them did not take magic damage from Animan, actually. Okay. Sure. Well, how about lightning? There we are. More chain lightning here. Jon Jonsson at your service. Let's fire away again. I don't know. I would assume that vampires are like immune ah. to acid or whatever. And poison. Gotcha good. No, no, it's mine. This life is mine. <laughs> what? <laughs> okay. I, I'm guessing that this is alluding to something else as a foot. Bodhi, Irenicus' sister, has been has finally been defeated. This shows, at least, that the vaunted power and immortality of the brother and sister are not endless, and there is hope to regain my soul after all. Although perhaps being undead meant it was harder for Bodhi to hold on to Imuin's essence, I don't know. We shall see. Okay, so Imwin's got her mojo back then, is the implication. Learned that elemental spell right there. Ah. Ah. Okay. Cool. Very well. 
Yep. Anyone need this? Let's conjure lesser air it elemental. Shall be done with skill no. and care, if not brevity. All right, good. Well, should we check these containers again? Just probably. As I would have thought. Oh, there we are. Okay, let's Make also get a restore on Yawn. There we go. And we'll throw ah. off a big heal. At once, your worship. I demand that we stop. The day was not this long, even this when I led soldiers so in the order. Whoa, what are these? The Vampiricus Omnibus Unabridged. Conjure Oda Cervanta. Dea Vampir Bacomos. I feel like I've just uttered some kind of horrifying curse. Okay. No time at all. Sure. Is this like how to become a vampire? Is that what that said? How come we didn't find all this shit here last time? Anything else? Okay. Let's look at this. Right. A short sword, symbol fear, horrid wilting. Let's get this sword ID'd. Ooh, we need a proper ID on it. Cutthroat, plus four. This weapon has a bloody history, having been used to exercise its namesake many times. Popular among the assassin trade for its size and enchantment, it has been in the possession of many of the realm's more dangerous citizens, though seldom remaining in one place for any length of time. Okay. Well, Jan can make use of it, though he probably ought not. Hmm. I don't know, maybe he should. Yeah, I'll give it to Jan, as an offhand, I guess. We don't really have a short sword user at present. I think it would be, um, Mazzy if uh, we had anyone, but even then, I, I tended to use Mazzy as ranged. Okay. Well, I guess we will read all this shit, right? We got these three different vampire-based books. Let's see here. Yeah, the, the issue here is that I haven't the lantern. Is there another doorway or something? Oh yeah, look, there's a interactable there. As well as these pools of blood, but I'm assuming nothing will come of them. They're just remains from last time. The jars and other receptacles here contain things like preserved hearts and other organs. Oh. Okay. Well, then maybe we should interact with this. Well, maybe we should read the books first, just in case they're tied to it. Okay. Dea Vampir Bacomos. This book has been drenched in blood, ruining most of the pages within. The original ink faded to begin with, is now thoroughly illegible. A more recent script handwritten in the margins has left an impression revealing a few words here and there, just enough to decipher the nature of the tome. The text apparently dealt with the process that one would go through to become a vampire, though the little you can see gives no indication why someone would want to do such a thing. There is a stamp on the back of the book suggesting that this tome was once archived and recorded by the followers of Ogma. Okay. Well, don't we know of, like, a Temple of Ogma somewhere? I don't even remember where. It was, like, a remarkably tiny one. Conjure Oda Cervanta. This text is written in a very old dialect of Southern Common that you are not familiar with. Though it does not appear to be, particular, to be a particularly ancient tome, it appears to be a section of the personal journal of a noble named Thomas Sangui. Sangui. And, <laughs> Sangui, 
deals with the acquiring and control of his most devoted servants. It is difficult to ascertain much more, though from the frequency of certain words, you're reasonably sure that Thomas was creating vampire minions, if not some other creature that feeds on blood. His knowledge on the subject seems quite intimate indeed, and he details, he details the long process of completely turning a victim. Apparently, if the process is interrupted, it can be reversed, but the author does not say how. There's a stamp on the back of the book that indicates it was once archived and recorded by the followers of Ogma. The Vampiricus Omnibus, unabridged. Holy shit, okay. The Vampiricus Omnibus, unabridged. Ending the Plague of Teeth. This tome is quite ancient, and you do not recognize the tongue in which it is written. Fortunately, Bodhi has scrawled a translation of selected passages in the margins, as well as further questions she apparently wished to ask on the subject. Stuatuo Gotha, the resolution. With the witch at the fore, long previous to her treachery, we did stride the hills of Umar, seeking comfort in our hour of need. Oh, the witch of Umar. The time had come for the living to mourn no more, and the blades that were, unfettered, that were fettered by sentiment were cut free, and it was decided that we would speak for our lives with the sinews of our sword arms. The honored dead that did take flight in the darkness of shadow would no more receive sorrow from those of us that had lost their friends and relatives to the plague of teeth. Mornat de pa Golvana Fathorn Battles when came the dead There came we, the army of light, armed with faith and conviction, and we did march unto the tombs of the restless dead during hours of day. With wooden edge we struck down master and slave, though many paid for each thrust with their lives. In the fallen, there was the danger of a scourge anew, and many of the newly infected seemed doomed to walk again with dire purpose. Egato Devon, the plea. No more, we cried. No more would we lose to the plague. These new fallen could not be abandoned. We had fought for our lives and theirs, and they would not be taken. To the temple we went, to the god of sun and light. Amanoder would save them, Amanoder whose touch turns shadows to fire. In the arms of the sun god were the infected placed, and the hearts of their dark masters were laid there with them. Blood did burn, and the dead returned, but not as undead or unliving, but alive and freed from taint. Many did walk the light side home when the last plague did fall. Relevance of archaic worship on Amenoder? Origin of vampiric plague? Was Amenoder the super god that was underneath Athkatla? Like, deep, deep underneath? Was that Amenoder? The avatar of, of Amenoder, at least? Any link to a modern cure to be worried of? Historical document or historical fiction? A final note is scribbled. Interrogate Ogma Monk at Doc's District Temple about further information. He should be able to provide more information on reversing vampirism. So, she had wanted a cure to vampirism. Hmm. Okay. Interesting. Alright. Theory time. Yes. Here's my guess. Well, we still don't have the lantern, do we? Alright, hang on. Let's interact with this. This unholy pool is filled with fresh human blood. You are nearly overcome with horror at the thought of the vampire's savagery. Alright, same, same. Yeah. Oh! You pour one of Elhan's vials of holy water into the pool. The result is immediate. The pool churns violently for a few moments, and then calms, cleansed of evil. The pool has been cleansed, and the vampires can no longer draw energy from the blood. Oh. Okay. Cool. Is that all of them, though? Yeah, have all of them been cleansed now? 
Maybe we should have done that earlier in the other room. Okay. But yeah, that's my theory, is... We found it a little odd that this group of elves just so happen to have anti-vampire holy water with them, as well as stakes, as if they're, like, somehow accustomed to fighting vampires. And the, the, the next line of thought should be, what if they are? Yes. Right? What if that's what happened to at least Bodhi? Uh, we don't fully know about Irenicus. Maybe Irenicus was just being supportive of his sister. What I want to know is how does Irenicus's wife situation factor into all of this, you know? Because it seems unrelated to the arc of Irenicus and Bodhi. Good God, look at them all pouring out of here. Okay, fuck me, dude. Very well. Gosh, I got charmed. No wonder I'm getting fucked up here. Your worthless lives end here! Not even a dent? Jeez! Okay. Well, this is pretty bad. <laughs> Let's do a heal if we can. Okay, over here. Don't forget to raise oh, there goes me. Jan. Okay. He leveled up and died. <laughs> what the hell? Okay. Well, let's quick load that. Huh? All right, then. There we are. <sighs> Rest would be welcome, dent? lest we endanger ourselves. Should be more pouring out of there, huh? <gasps> no? Yes. Really? Okay. I guess there was just one this time. Okay, but yeah, I wonder if Irenicus and Bodhi were in some way part of Elhan's, like, city. His, like, group of elves or whatever, and they were vampire hunters. Somehow Bodhi contracted vampirism, but rather than choosing to die, uh, went and looked for a cure of some kind. Right? But... Um, they were not welcomed back into the city, and Irenicus chose to side with Bodhi, his sibling, rather than rejoin with the city. But I don't know how... Like, is it just circumstantial? The situation with Irenicus' wife? Right? And all of this is pretty much unrelated to us, that they're just seeking vengeance against uh, well. these elves who drove them out feels that way are they elves I, I don't really know okay let's try and interact with this you pour one of Elhan's holy vials yeah same same okay good well let's head on back out then just as I would have thought we have one vial left. Not sure what I would do with it, though. I mean, there is this, but this is not an interactable ah. at all. It's a container, which we had already even looked inside of. Okay, so I guess we're going to the docks district again. Can we, or should we rest down here? I think we should. Yeah. Oh! Skeleton warrior. Next time. There we go. What? Okay. And I'm sure this is a piece of shit sword. Yep. Okay, let's do a quick this save and head back simple. out. No time at all. There we are. By the way, can we now cast magic within Athkotla? Can we just publicly be casting magic now? Since we sort of uh, dealt with the Cald wizards, like are they, are they all gone? Like that was it's their headquarters. Time for tea. That Irenicus had overrun. 
ache I'm from getting our legs. sleepy. How are we sleepy already? We just slept down there. Okay. Let's go to the docks. All right. I require rest. I demand we stop. So where is the I Temple of Agma? Right stop. there. The day was not this long, even when I led soldiers in the order. <sighs> rest would be I welcome. guess we can go rest to ourselves. to the inn and rest there. So I don't know why we need to. Okay, we'll do that, and then we'll check out the Temple of Ogma. See if they know anything about these books. Because we legit don't have the lantern, do we? No. Get on. Which, you know, that's that's kind of why we went there. We wanted to get the lantern. Yes. All right. Yeah, I'd like a drink. Get the royal room. Good. Yes. Okay, we're all back to normal. Very well. Okay. And then, up here, Temple of Ogma. Sure. I do like the idea that it may be revealed that more of the game is related, right? Just from reading those books, there is a bit of a through line. You know, with the Witch of the Umar Hills, which we had heard about early on. Uh, Amanoder, who may have been that avatar that we encountered deep underneath the city. Now the Temple of Ogma here, which seemed incidental and unimportant. They're starting to connect a bunch of, like, memorable but seemingly unimportant details that we had come across. Okay. Over here. Priest of Ogma. Hello, wherever you are. This will be simple. Praise Ogma, the bene benef beneficent master of knowledge, invention, and inspiration. Come, seeker, and be welcome within his temple. What can I provide for you? Can you tell me anything about Ogma? Yeah, we've heard this before. Your services. Eh, it doesn't really help. Huh? No this monk here in the all. corner, maybe? The things that are studied in the Og Ogmanite, Ogmanite orders are far beyond most people's comprehension. We shall teach them in time. Oh. Well, that's a very little help. Okay. Well, we we killed Bodhi. Uh, All but we're, right, then. <laughs> we're short a lantern. What the fuck? We killed Bodhi, but got no lantern out of it. Huh. Was there, like, another place in there that we could have stabbed her body and gotten the, the lantern that way? Like, did she ga go gas mode? And, like, maybe on her body there we could have found a... an item? Hmm. Okay. I didn't see any extra beds, though. At least not like we had seen before. Maybe we'll just go back to Wild Forest, wasn't it? Or was it Under Dark Exit? Yeah, it was Under Dark Exit. Okay. So at the very least, we can confront Elhan. Though we have no lantern. Okay. Elhan, I've returned. With no lantern. Your return? All has been relatively quiet here. I believe the drow were mostly satisfied with the destruction of our temple. They have made no further serious advancement. Yet. My sages detect no artifact. You've not secured the lantern yet. Remember, I suggested getting help from those you met in your travels if you are in need. Yeah, what the hell? How do I get the lantern then? Never surrender the heartwoods. I will not tolerate the presence of outsiders. No matter who they are or what they intend to do for our cause, the risk is too great. Do what you must, but I do it from but do it far from here. I will believe your intentions when all is right again. 
Yeah, what the hell? Yes. Where does one get the lantern from? Did it appear back in that other room? Is that why vampires came flooding from out of there? Or at least one vampire in this reality. Okay, fuck it. Let's head back again. There, there we go. Went. And over this way. Maybe that's legit what happened. We have to go interact with that one room again. Something will have changed. Okay. Sure. Thank goodness we're not like on a time limit. Okay, and then this big weird room. What? Okay, once my character gets there, I'll quick save and I'll go Just in myself. As I would have thought. Uh, yep, there are vampires in here. There is no lantern, though. Okay. Well, let's fuck them up. Get on with it. Nature, sir, it is done. Cool. Not even a dent? Ah! Not even a dent? Ah! All right. Edwin got a level. Yes. Let's see. Level you up. Whoa. Proficiency slot. Holy shit. Okay. Well, I guess you're proficient now in everything you can possibly be proficient in. Okay. Two level nine spells. Three more lore. Another ability. Okay. Okay. Improved Alicrity or Comet. Let's get Alicrity. Seems really useful. It's another spell that we have to socket or yeah. Is freedom any good? I think it's just useful versus imprisonment. Okay. Yeah. So all of our level 9 spells on Edwin are, for the most part, at least ones that are usable, are time dilation. This oh. place is just will too darn simple. creepy. I really want out of here. No time at all. So has anything changed in here now? Oh, there's another vampire here. Okay. Gonna try and pull him over. I require healing now. Gotcha good. good. This weapon is worthless. All right, then. Is there some way in which I can finish these vampires off? Oh, yeah, here we go. This one is now available. Okay. Sure. Vampire retreat to its coffin. Get pounded. Okay. So now they're all truly dead? Yeah. Fair enough. Well, that still doesn't really help. Does it? Okay, let's quick save again. What if I go up to this and I throw that in there? Will that do anything? What the fuck? Yeah, there's like nothing else in here to interact with. Okay, let's quick load that. All right, then. Huh. Maybe it's inside of one of these pools of blood? 
It has been cleansed. Vampires can no longer draw from it. Okay. Let's go back down a level then. We'll investigate a little bit further. There must be something I've missed. Maybe I need to click on every single one of the pools of blood, and one will contain something. You must gather your I went for like, I clicked on like forth. two or three of them. Oh, maybe this over here? Is that a pool of blood or something? I don't know. Oh, you know what? I probably should get back the... What do you call it? You must gather your party before the vamp water. Forth. The holy water. Yes. Oh, I do have it. Okay. Never mind. I thought I was still Very inside well. of that centerpiece. Okay. What else is clickable here? The pool's been cleansed. The pool's been cleansed. Huh? It's Just been cleansed. As I would have thought. Cleansed. Also cleansed. I can't interact with this one. I can take these spells, I guess. What if I put holy water there? Nope. Okay. Well, what about this room? Jars. Sure. Here? Put the holy water in that? <laughs> nope. Okay. Well, shit, uh, I don't fucking know. What is this? Symbol Fear. It's a powerful enchantment that allows the wizard to inscribe a symbol on the ground or any other surface. The symbol will remain there until someone comes too close, at which point it will explode, causing all those within the area to make a save versus spell at a minus four penalty or be affected by fear for two rounds plus one round for every three levels of the caster. Guess we'll write it. Same goes for the horrid wilting. Good. Learned them both. Though, none what? of that really helps this us find the lantern. Simple. Is there something that just looks like a lantern? No time at all. Oh. Oh, this is Bodhi's bed. This this is her sarcoph okay. I didn't know really what I thought this was just decoration, right? We can attack this because Bodhi is in it. After a desperate battle, Bodhi has retreated to her coffin. It is time to end this. If you have a stake, you can destroy her and free Imowen's soul. Holy shit, I can't believe this was a coffin the whole fucking Very time. Well. I thought it was just like a decorative fun like ship. You know, like um uh, Charon taking a ship across the a boat across the like river of souls or whatever. Or Karen. Charon, Karen. God, look at all that. Bodhi crumples before you. Her body, no more than an empty shell, as the stolen soul within is freed. There is the faint glimpse of an apparition of some sort. And then, nothing. With her death, a panel opens inside her coffin. The lantern is within. Got a shitload of XP. Oh, we got the lantern and Bodhi's black heart. Journal update. I must find the Rin lantern. Oh, okay, same, same. Sure. Level ups going around. Okay. Sure. I feel. I feel better now. I feel whole again. That's great! Thank you for everything you have done. I am restored. And I hope your own healing is not too far off. Uh, we'll see about that. <laughs> not not in when I know that there's an expansion, <laughs> right? I feel like, I don't know, that things could get complicated. And we might be given a cliffhanger. All right. Imowen has been restored with Bodhi's death. She is fine. And it seems that she has gotten her soul back from the vampire now. This bodes well for my coming battle with Irenicus. It makes my path clear. Good. Okay. Get on well, with it. let's get some levels. 
Let's see. Thacko, minus two. Number of attacks, five out of two. Oh, this is not our level up progress. Yeah, we got three HP, one lore. And one of these cool new abilities. Oh, what else should we get? We could, like, go for power attack, crit strike, and smite. Right? I mean, I guess you could double them up. I don't know. We may as well get it. Like, I'd prefer to probably have more greater whirlwind attacks, but... Why the hell not? Power attack. A power attack allows a warrior to strike blows so forceful that they stun an opponent for two rounds if the opponent fails a save versus death at a minus four penalty. Lasts for two rounds. Crit strike. A high-level warrior's intimate knowledge of vital spots on opponents allows her to, once per day, concentrate all of the attacks in one round to strike a vital area every time. With this ability, every attack roll made in the next round is a natural 20, a critical hit. Smite. With a smite ability, the warrior gains the ability to strike a mighty blow, knocking an opponent back for a considerable distance and stunning the opponent for one round. All attacks made in the first round are critical hits. The ability lasts for two rounds. Large creatures such as dragons or giants will not be knocked back or stunned. Which I feel like that's not good. Right? I mean, it is. it does last for two rounds. Which is decent. All attacks made in the first round are crit. No. It's actually... Yeah. So it, it's the same as crit strike. Except you have knockback, which... Sucks for a melee fighter. Man, I don't know if I'm sold on it. I feel like Greater Whirlwind Attack is cooler. Hmm. Eh, fuck it. We'll see. And M1. Let's see. Information. Seven and eight spells. Good. And done. Not even a little extra bonus thing. All right. Fair enough. Oh, and here's Bodhi's Black Heart. The Black Withered Heart of the Vampire Bodhi. Who would want this? Temple of Ilmater again? The Lantern. The Rin Lantern is an artifact from ruined Myth Rin. It was highly prized by the city's rulers, as it shone through all falsehoods and illusions. The device, with the lenses in place, can dispel the illusions that hid Suldanesilar. Neat. Okay. Yeah, who should we take the heart to? Maybe the... The Temple of Ilmater again? I don't know. Maybe... The Temple of Ogma? I found it very weird that we had direct references to the Temple of Ogma, but we couldn't really do anything there. Right? So, I don't, I don't know. Alright, well, either way, at the very least, when next we return, we'll be going to check in with, uh... What's her name? Uh, Elhan. Right, and we can confront them about the true nature of what's really going on. Alright, until next time, please take care of each other.